Good morning. We're at our diamond recovery facility. This is a mining carport so I can get in out of the sun and or rain, whatever the weather has. Um, those are empty buckets over there ready to be used. These are buckets that are full of the gravel that went through, well, the silt and sand and mud and all that went through the bottom of the screens, the one foot square screens as they jigged. I save all that. Normally this is all thrown away, but I saved all that material because this is my No Diamond Left Behind program and I've got all these buckets to jig through and some more in the truck and some more still down there I haven't brought up yet. But uh, let me show you, if you watched that last video, I emptied the four one foot squares. The fine material is on the right. The coarser or eighth inch material is on the left. And I will now take these buckets and they're only like half bucket or less each. And I'll drop them into the top of this plights jig and wash it down through that hole in the bottom of the funnel. And it drops down into a screen here. And this screen pulsates. It jigs up and down. Here's one of the screens I've got. I've got two. That way one can be draining. But this just causes it to go up and down. I'm sorry you can't see it, but you can see my hand bouncing with the screen. So all the minerals run in there. Uh, and as it jigs, it the hole, the funnel, discharges it to the center of the screen. As it jigs, the heavy material drops to the bottom, and the light material goes to the outside and over the edge of the screen like a waterfall and, and gets rid of it. Then it goes into the bottom of this jig, and then I have to undo this pipe and drain the jig, get all the mud, gravel, water out of it then fill it up and start all over again but let me bring you out here I uh, so I'm ready to jig these that I just cleaned those four squares out but earlier see we had run the plant before and I'd clean the plant other times I just hadn't jigged it so this is our finer material you can see the white barite kind of shows you the heavies. Now you don't have a center bullseye when run, running a plice jig. It's just everything goes to the bottom and then you flip it over. But uh, you can see there are heavies in this. We have found blood red pyrope garnet and uh, grass green chromium diopside and lustrous black opaque uh, chromium spinel in this. Um, here's some barites. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of barite because that can kind of blind a diamond because the density of it is is more than a diamond. So a diamond could be under this barite is what I'm saying. But it would be in that area. So what I will do is scoop the heavies when this dries here pretty soon. And it will dry in the sun and uh, high heat today pretty quick. I will uh, scoop it up, take it in, and my wife will look through it with a magnifying light in the air conditioning and uh, sort out the diamonds. Now, after I scoop this pile, I save all this gravel and I rerun it again. And then I'll rerun it again. I just no diamond left behind. I'm not going to miss anything. But uh, anyway, uh, the, this gives you an idea of the process. So after running through the diamond recovery plant then we bring our concentrate the big plant just gets rid of light material then we bring our dense material over here and jig it and then we'll be finding diamonds soon so thanks for checking out our process and i've got some work ahead of me here so i better get to it